Hello, welcome to this video on creating the lead. In the previous video, we talked about different types of leads, summary, anecdotal, and contrast. Since the summary lead is the most common in news stories, in this video, we're going to focus on what to include and what not to include in a summary news lead. A summary lead is the first paragraph in an article, and it contains the most important information. This is important, especially if the information may affect the reader's lives. Let's look at an example. A fire started at 8.14 a.m. on Friday on the 200 block of South Jessup Street. Two adults and one child went to Chestnut Hospital shortly after 9 a.m. when firefighters rescued them from the second floor of that apartment building. Firefighters put out the flames by 10.12 a.m., but unfortunately, residents cannot return to their homes because of the damage. At this time, firefighters do not know the cause of the fire. In this example, we can see some of the do's and don'ts of writing a summary news lead. Let's start with the do's. One, give WH information. Two, be specific. And three, be brief. Let's look at WH information first. We can see what happened, a fire, who is involved, residents and firefighters, where it happened, the 200 block of South Jessup Street, and when it happened, 8.14 a.m. on Friday. Can we tell why the fire started? No, but let's notice that the journalist was transparent about their process for finding that information. They said that firefighters didn't have that information at the time the news story was published. Remember, transparency is one of the principles of journalism we talked about in Unit 1. Let's move on to the second do, being specific. Being specific means giving exact details. Notice the journalist in this lead didn't say that a fire happened in the city of Philadelphia. They provided the exact block. Also notice the lead includes the exact time, 8.14 a.m. This information informs the reader in case they know someone who was in that area at that time. Now let's talk about the final do, being brief. Being brief means being short or using few words. Notice in our example, the journalist was able to write all of the necessary information in just four sentences. Now that we know what to include in a summary news lead, let's talk about what not to include. Because this is a summary news lead, we don't want to include any extra details like descriptive words. A summary news lead should use concrete words that clearly communicate the important parts of the story. What if the news lead instead sounded like, the bright orange, yellow, and cherry red flames from the fire interrupted the busy traffic on Friday morning? While it may paint a picture of what it looked like, it doesn't get right to the important information. A fire started at 8.14 a.m. on Friday on the 200 block of South Jessup Street. Starting a summary news lead this way gives the reader the most important information first. In addition to descriptive words, summary news leads should also not include extra words that may repeat information. For example, what if the lead instead said, a fire started at 8.14 a.m. on Friday morning. Here, because we said a.m., we know that it's morning time. Remember, we want summary news leads to be specific, but also brief. To conclude, when writing a summary news lead, a journalist needs to include WH information, specificity, and brevity. And journalists should stay away from descriptive language and unnecessary words. Think about this style when writing your news lead for Assessment 1.